Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so we are on a mission today. We are actually traveling to Orange County, which I say traveling like it's it's gonna be super far. But Orange County from like the middle of Los Angeles is it's probably gonna take us about an hour and a half to get there because I am redoing a bedroom for my friend Jerica and she lives there. So obviously we have to go there. She can't bring the room to me. I'm packing up all of my tools, all of my supplies, everything that I'm gonna possibly need to redo her room. Um, and of course, Kinsley's stuff. I have to take my little handy assistant with me, right Kinsley? Cause she's gonna come and have a sleepover. Yeah, so since Jerrica lives in Orange County, uh, Kinsley and I are actually gonna stay the night with her and we're gonna work all day, through the night, into the next day. I am prepared with my overall, my working clothes. I've got my painting overalls on. We're gonna finish packing up, get on the road, head to Orange County, so we will see you there. So I just got to Orange County and I'm here with my friend Jerrica. We are gonna walk through her room and we're gonna show you what the room looks like now. And then we're gonna go shopping for a little bit. Yes. We okay, are. so, yeah, <laughs> we're excited. So welcome to Jerrica's room before. started a shared Pinterest board where I just asked her to put in any pictures that she found on Pinterest or online that really was her style, things that she really liked. And then once she plugged in all of her pictures, I started to feed off of that vibe so that we could determine how we were gonna design the space, what it was gonna start to look like. That is definitely tip number one. If you wanna start redoing any type of room in your house or a room for a friend or your whole house, definitely start a Pinterest board. Just start collecting images that you really like and then you'll start to see patterns which ones you pin the most are you using the same color palette do you like a lot of neutrals or a lot of blue so it really helps to keep the design really focused and then it was about me really defining what her style was I feel like Nowadays, people could have more than one style and they could have at the base, like they could be like farmhouse or contemporary or industrial, but then you'll have touches of like vintage and bohemian or Moroccan. We're kind of like a melting pot of design. I really needed to determine what her style was and what it was influenced by. So after a little bit of research, her style is coastal chic. It has a lot of California influence, like that she's in Orange County, it's a beach town. She also really likes clean lines, a really airy feel in the room. She doesn't want anything to look too heavy. She likes light colors from gray, pure white, to soft beiges and taupes. Everything about the coastal chic style is very much like calm and relaxed. You're kind of on vacation. It feels like a home, but it also feels like you're, you're by the beach somewhere. Coastal chic has a lot of pottery barn. Like that would be a store if you had a coastal chic style that you would love to shop at. I created a must-have list for us so that I could start designing the actual space. So her must-haves for this room is really to define her style and something that really matches her personality. Another must-have is better lighting, so that includes new lamps in her room and lighter weight curtains to let in a lot more natural light. Also, more storage is a must for her. Another must-have is to keep her existing bed and her vintage dresser that's currently inside the closet. We're gonna build the design around those two pieces. Just a cozy feeling. She really wants to feel like this is styled, but someplace that she wants to spend time. 
so next I started to lay out her room and I started sketching out each sides of the room to really see if I could move the room around, what walls were best for what pieces of furniture, to really create a good flow and a good energy in her room while also thinking about and keeping in mind that we need a lot of storage in her room as well. We are outside Home Depot right now and we brought all these paint swatches outside. If you want to see your paint, how it's going to look in your room and your room gets lots of natural light, bring all of your paint swatches outside or bring them home and look at them on your wall in your room, which is probably what we're about to do because we can't decide. Different colors and shades of like a warm light gray and they're all throwing different colors like green, blue, pink, more blue. So we tested three different colors. So this was the original pink color. This color is smoky white. This is silver ash and canyon wind. And you can see that this has got a lot of blue undertone. This has got a lot of green undertone. Even though it's actually pretty, it's a lot of green. And then this was just a little bit of a pink undertone, but perfect for this room. You can see that before it's, it's a lot yellower. Okay, so we just finished painting the room and it's all dry. So much better in here. All this soft white gray color and her bed looks so much better in here with this wall color. We rehung the TV and I wanted to show you guys because she has the prettiest blinds. They bring so much warm tones into the room and it's perfect. And we're about to hang some curtains. She had this bronzy colored curtain rod already up. So we're gonna hang that back up. And we found these sheer white curtains. And we got two of them, one for each side. And her ceiling height is eight foot. So we needed the 96 inches and I may need to hem them just a tad, but we'll see. Since her ceilings are only eight foot tall, in order to make it feel larger and just taller in general, a tip is to actually hang your curtains almost all the way to the ceiling. So this beautiful antique dresser that she has in her closet right now is actually going to be moving underneath the TV at the foot of the bed. I like it. I think it's cool. And then just a tad towards you. Stop. Go, 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 go. That. Too much. Too much. Go back, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have finally found a rug. We really like this rug. So we have it. <laughs> it has some really warm brown tones which match the bed and also some gray and some lighter beige and then black. It's a great neutral and it pulls in all of the different colors that we have going on in the room from the vintage piece and then the bed and some gray. Um, but it's not white, so it's not going to show dirt or stains as easily. So we're hoping that the 5x7 works um, because the next size up is an 8x10 and it's going to be way too big for the room. Um, so we're going to find out. So we're going to put it underneath the bed. One, two. Oh, God. Wow, guys. So we have a problem, a dilemma, really. And maybe you guys have encountered this before too, like not knowing what size rug to put in your room. So her room is 129 wide by 126 deep. So pretty much all of the ready-made rugs come in five by seven, eight by 10, 
9 by 12. An 8 by 10 is too big. It would literally cover the entire floor. The 5 by 7 that we bought that we were hoping we could make work, and I think we still can make it work in some way, is a little on the small side. We need a custom rug. And that's not realistic for most people. And it would take six weeks to make a custom rug, you know? Like it, we also played around with like buying two rugs at a smaller side, size and putting them next to each other. In order to get the bed in the center of this wall, because the, the room is shaped a little odd, we had to shift the bed this way. So it is enabling us to put a nice sized additional dresser or side table here for more storage and then a smaller matching side table on that side. So we're hoping that a two foot deep smaller dresser here will fill up the majority of the space and make the rug look more balanced and like it's not too small for the room because that's our only option. You guys can have an option to do a runner on each side of the bed because this came in a two foot two inch by five so it could go here and then you could put it on this side as well another option we want to stick with a big rug um, so we're going to try and make this one work as best that we can so it is 11 24 p.m went shopping the rest of the day and literally until the stores closed so we went around looking for pieces of furniture to add on the side of her bed that went with the furniture that she already had and of course where did we end up target so we found some lovely pieces of furniture at target that we think is going to go really well with her bed so we're going to build some furniture right now and then we're going to go to sleep and then wake up tomorrow bright and early and I'm kicking her out and I'm gonna style the room. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Look at how organized you are. <laughs> You've got all the letters in alphabetical order. You're the easiest, you're the help, most helpful <laughs> furniture builder ever. <laughs> Okay, so it's officially the next day. Huh? I woke up so tired. We got so much accomplished yesterday. So today is just about final touches, putting, pulling the room together and then surprising her with the after and you guys with the after. So I left her at home and I'm going to stop by a few stores and just find some small decor items just to really pull all of the style of the room together. I'm gonna go inside and then we're gonna go back and style it and then surprise her. Okay, so I'm back from shopping and I found some really cool stuff. So I'm about to style different parts of the room and take you guys along with me to every corner and kind of like talk through what I'm thinking and how I'm designing it. Okay, so next to her TV in this little corner next to the window, if you don't wanna buy a piece of art, I came up with this idea. She has all of these great hats. So I wanted to style them and hang them on the wall as decor pieces. And she can obviously wear the hats and just pull it off the nail when she wants to wear it. Um, but it'll add this kind of like warm color that we're doing in some of the wood in the bronze in here onto that wall. So we're gonna hang those up. And she also has a lot of scarves and she had like a coat rack in here with a lot of scarves hanging off of it and, and other hats. So we found this basket at home goods it was $24.99 and it was a great really clean white wash color i wanted to put this underneath the hats in that corner with all of her scarves balled up inside so she could use them when she needs to because it's winter time so she's going to start using them soon balling up the scarves and tucking the tail into the bottom and then they look like a little ball. So just take it by the end, wrap it around your hand, and tuck it in the center. This 
this side of the TV, she has like just enough space for something. You can see that you come in the door right here. Just this area that I felt like needed something. It's not, it has a light switch, so it's not big enough for anything substantial. And the door opens right there, so you don't want anything really on the floor that it's gonna hit all the time. So I found these two bronze hooks, because bronze is, is definitely a color that we're bringing in here. And these match the handles to the furniture we built yesterday. And I wanna hang them right there for coats, for purse, handbags. So this is a great way to get something off of the floor, but then not to hinder the door opening that much. Okay, so let's talk about the dresser. I found this runner at World Market, and it actually has this print, actually really pretty print on this side, but it's not her style at all. But the back was literally the perfect gray tone to go into this room so that we can pull some of that gray that's in the bed and the side tables onto the side of the room. So I'm gonna put this on there. So our dresser was 70 inches long, so I got the longest runner they had, which was 72 inches. And I'm just gonna lay it right on top. That way it brightens up the dresser and also covers some of the imperfections. I found this little oxidized pot at World Market. It was $14.99. I hope they have a larger size because I actually need a larger one for the plant that I bought that's really beautiful. So don't kill me, we will get a bigger pot. Um, but just to give you guys an idea of what you could do on here, I have this one. And I found this beautiful, I don't know my plants, you guys. Philundrum, philodendrum. Philodendron. It's um, low maintenance, which is exactly what we like. But it was so pretty, I got it at Home Depot and I loved how it kind of trailed upwards to kind of fill out this corner. I also have our DIY that we did with the, the cane. So I'm gonna put those here on this side. Along with this decorative triangle that I got from Pier 1, I thought it would be really cool to hang necklaces off of it for her dresser. So I'm gonna put that and snuggle that in here, maybe with a, maybe with a book or two. And then hang some of her pretty gold necklaces on it. And I picked up two pillar candles from World Market to put inside of our DIY candle holders. Just adding in a few more little elements, like this little jewelry box that I got from World Market. It was $24.99, just a glass gold jewelry box. So she already had off-white sheets which were perfect for this room and the color palette we were going for. She also already had this beautiful quilt set that is pure white but has lots of texture which is what we were going for in the room. Okay, so I'm moving in the side table in the new dresser that we made last night. So this is the side table from Target and I'm going to bring in the dresser but I wanted to let you guys know kind of like kind of a review of the product. We had a really hard time building it because some of the screws that came from Target in the box were messed up and maybe we just got a bad batch, but quality isn't fantastic. But overall, we, they're great and we decided to keep them for sure um, because we love the style and we love the match the bed. Um, so just so you guys know what you're getting into. Ooh, it's great size. The height of this dresser is taller than the side table. So we decided to leave the black legs off of this one in order to compensate for the height on this one. So you can see that it had little black legs. So we just kept them off. And then that compensated for the five inches that it was different. That can be your target hack for today. So we picked up this goldish bronze mirror at Home Goods. It was $39.99. 
and we thought it would be really pretty vertical up above the dresser. Also have our lamp DIY that's going in this room, so it matches the mirror too. So I have these other two frames that we got from Home Goods too. They were $16.99 each. I'm about to paint some canvases in them to kind of tie in some of the bronzy stuff. And because I'm going to be putting two of those above the bed, I definitely think that this mirror should be centered in front of the wall. I don't, and originally in my head, it was definitely going to be off center because of the lamp, but it's definitely going in the center. So before I hang that, I'm going to be an artiste. So I'm not really going for anything crazy here. I actually just want some pretty brush strokes, kind of like straight brush strokes. And I have some white, gray, and metallic paints. So I'm just gonna take my canvas paper, really easy to put into frames because it's flat. So gray paint, deep bronze paint, brushed antique gold. Making little highlights in white, I think will add some brightness to it. Just a really abstract brush stroke. Okay, so our art is dry and we're gonna put it into our frames. So I'm just going to tape our new artwork right on the back of the mat. Okay, so for the back wall, we hung, hung the mirror. I'm gonna put our lamp off to the side. And then I caught this cute vase at Pier 1. It was on sale for $9. It was regularly 30 bucks. And this small snake plant that we can repot in a bigger pot or as it grows, it'll fill it out a little more, but I thought it was so pretty to go here. And then I picked up this little clock at World Market for $24.99. When you're designing a space for someone else, you wanna make sure that they love it and they love every piece. Um, so sometimes I do leave the tags on things that I'm not quite sure about that they're gonna love. Um, she's gonna love this, but I'll leave it on anyways. Just so you guys know, if you ever see tags, that's why. Okay, I'm gonna go get her and we're gonna show her what it looks like and I hope she loves it. Walk forward and open. <gasps> John, this is amazing! Do you like
hope you guys enjoyed this extreme bedroom makeover such a fun project I love designing for friends because it's so comfortable and so if you guys did like this video definitely hit the like button below and if you're not already part of our growing DIY family definitely hit that subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you guys know exactly when I upload every Sunday and if you haven't watched part one of the series where I made some of the decor items that we actually put in her room I will link it down below so that you guys can we hope you guys have a good week and we will see you guys next Sunday bye guys say bye mama bye. <laughs> it looked different like you saw the majority of it were you a good help she was a good help